How does malware work? Malware is a type of malicious software that can damage your computer, steal your data, or even harm your health. In this video, we will discuss how malware works and the different types that are out there. We will also give you tips on how to protect yourself from this type of software and keep your computer safe. Let's start. The term malware refers to harmful software that disrupts or manipulates an electronic device's normal operation. Point one malware can infect personal computers, smartphones, tablets, servers, and even equipment, basically any device with computing capabilities. The first form of malware ever developed was the computer virus. Point two, as technology, computing and software have advanced during the last two decades, so has the sophistication and prevalence of malicious software. Read on to learn more about how malware and ransomware work and what you can do to protect yourself. How does malware work? Malware typically infects a machine by tricking users into clicking and or installing a program that they shouldn't from the internet. When the click or installation occurs, the malicious code executes actions that the user doesn't anticipate or intend, which could include self-replication in different parts of the file system, installing applications that capture keystrokes or commandeer system resources, often running without the user being aware, while slowing the system down considerably, blocking access to files, programs or even the system itself, sometimes forcing the user to make a payment to regain access, bombarding a browser or desktop with ads, breaking essential system components and rendering a device inoperable. Execution can be triggered by a number of user actions, but the most common trigger is a click, typically on a link or pop-up. The descriptions might say something provocative like, claim your prize or your account has been compromised. Please log in and verify recent charges. Many times, a pop-up will be displayed immediately after clicking the link, such as, your system is infected. Click here to run a scan. The next click often triggers the download of a malicious payload, even if the user doesn't select one of the options and instead tries to close the program using the corner X. Malware can also be disguised as a program or app that claims to convert PDFs, unzip files, find product discounts or provide caller ID functionality on a smartphone. But once the program is downloaded, it begins making unauthorized changes on the system, monitoring user behavior, displaying pop-ups, changing search engine results, adding icons to a desktop or redirecting popular sites. Malware Types Malware can be delivered in several different forms, depending on the intention of the person who developed it. A computer virus is designed to reproduce itself and spread from one file or program to another, and, less frequently, to other computers on a network. Trojan horses masquerade as harmless programs, but when activated, they damage their host computer. Unlike a virus, a Trojan horse does not replicate itself, instead, this malware usually attempts to steal files or passwords. Computer worms replicate themselves to spread through a network. A computer worm will spread across computer networks, as opposed to viruses that usually spread from file to file on a single computer. Spyware infects and operates on a user's computer to monitor user activity and extract information. For instance, while spyware runs on a machine, the hacker can monitor the programs used and sites visited while tracking keystrokes to determine login and password information. Point three. Logic bombs are concealed in programs and can either be triggered by a user's action or released at a predetermined time. They can crash a system or wipe a hard drive. Ransomware. Ransomware is a form of malware that locks a user's computer and then demands a ransom payment to restore access. Ransomware can be delivered to a computer if a user clicks on a link that contains malware. Point for it often resembles a phishing attack, which is an attempt to gather personal information like passwords, banking details, credit card numbers or even social security numbers. Phishing involves a scammer sending emails that can appear harmless and typically ask the recipient to click a link or download a file. These messages look like they're from a legitimate, trustworthy source, but once the recipient clicks or downloads, the hacker gains access to the user's computer. Ransomware often begins as a phishing attack, but it goes a step further in inciting panic that may urge users to quickly take the hacker's desired action. Once a user has clicked a link or file for download, the ransomware freezes their computer. It then attempts to blackmail the user into paying money for the scammer to return the user's stolen personal information. 
This form of malware relies on fear, that is, the fear that a user has engaged in illegal activity online. By posing as a law enforcement agency, a ransomware purveyor can intimidate and coerce a user while seeming legitimate. In other instances, ransomware will simply lock down a user's entire machine, including important files and programs, and demand a payment. Ransomware may not only withhold access to a machine, but also threaten to delete files unless payment is made. Signs of Malware Not all malware is as obvious as ransomware. In fact, some malware runs almost silently in the background of your device. Here are several signs that you may have fallen victim to malware. Ads that pop up seconds after a page loads. Ads that pop up when you're not using your internet browser. Redirect chains or when a website URL keeps changing and sending you to other pages. Your email or social media contacts receive strange messages from you that you didn't send. Your system slows down. You can't access the control panel on a Windows system. If you suspect malware is active on your device, disconnect it from the internet and take steps to remove the malicious software. Find instructions from a trusted source, such as a well-known technology service provider. So now you know how malware can cause so much damage. Have you ever come across any suspicious app? Did you also know what action you should take in case such an app comes on your PC? I hope you guys surely like and enjoy our video, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.